Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we would be doing this glamorous New Year's Eve look that is not only apt for the New Year's Eve but also to any party that you're heading out to. It is basically this four cut crease makeup and this look is coming up with three lip options so you can pick and choose according to your mood for the day. So without any delay, let's jump right into it. As you can see, my foundation, concealer and my brows are already done. I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow primer by Estee Lauder. And I'm going to generously dab it all over my eyelids. This is going to act as a very good base for the shimmery shadows that we are going to be putting later. As the shimmery shadows tend to be having a lot of fallout, so it is basically going to prevent that and uh, as it is a very creamy base I am setting it with a loose powder the one that I am using is by Laura Mercier it's the translucent powder I am going to be doing one eye off camera and showing you all the steps on the other eye I am taking this fluffy eyeshadow blending brush by Real Techniques and dipping it into this MAC eyeshadow called Folly. I'm going to apply it lightly over my crease. What I like to do is I like to uh, put the transition color slightly over my crease area just a tad bit above the crease area because I have small eyes and I've noticed that putting the transition color just slightly above the crease area makes your eyes look bigger. Now taking a pencil brush, this is the Sigma E30, I am going to deepen the socket line. I am going to dip the pencil brush in the same eyeshadow that is Folly. It's a very beautiful uh, deep brown kind of a color and has little red undertones to it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm deepening out the socket line and just flicking it outwards ever so slightly. Cut crease is basically uh, the kind of makeup wherein the crease is deeper than the rest of the eye. Like the crease area is very prominent. Just taking a fluffy brush and just uh, ensuring there are no um, unblended edges to it. Uh, now I'm grabbing this eyeshadow called Honey Lust by MAC again. Um, this is a luster eyeshadow and tends to have a lot of fallout. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the Fix Plus spray by MAC and spritzing it over a flat shader brush and then dipping it into the eyeshadow so that the pigment of the eyeshadow sticks to the lid very nicely and there's least amount of fallout. Here I am just applying that eyeshadow to the mobile lid area and as you can see it is a very beautiful shimmery peachy gold kind of a color that would just complement any Indian skin tone. Just blending the eyeshadow out ever so slightly. Uh, I don't want to blend too much as I want it to look like a cut crease makeup. Now grabbing uh, the highlighter that is Becca Champagne Pop, I'm going to take it on a smaller brush. This is the E47 again by Sigma. I'm going to apply it to the tear duct area of my eye. Applying any shimmery shadow to the tear duct area of your eye ensures that your eyes look more brighter and more open. Now on the same brush, uh, I am taking MAC Folly again and just smoking out my lower lash line. Once I am happy with how my eyes are looking, I am going in with an eyeliner. This one is by Chamber. It's a liquid eyeliner and it's a felt tip eyeliner. So doing a flick liner is 
very very easy with it and uh, this is one of the mattest and deepest black eyeliners especially in the liquid version that i have ever come across and i really really like it what i like to do is i like to flick out the wing first and then start off with the inner corners and drawing small strokes i'm going to connect the inner corner to the outer flick that we had created i'm just going to balance out the eyeliner on both my eyelids once the eyeliner is done and i'm happy with how it looks I'm going to go in with this plum kajal. I bought it off the Nykaa website and believe me, I am so happy with this kajal pencil. It is the deepest, blackest kajal that I have come across. Although I wouldn't say that it doesn't smudge at all, it does, but all kajals smudge on me and this is the one that smudges the least. Once I've tightlined my eye with that plum kajal, I'm going to give my eyelashes a good curl. The eyelash curler I'm using is uh, from Inglot. Curling your eyelashes basically opens it up, opens your eye up quite a bit and makes you look more awake. Now going in with my Lancome Grandiose mascara, I'm going to generously apply the mascara to my eyelashes what i really like about this uh, mascara is the shape of the wand it makes it very easy for you to apply your mascara for the bottom lashes i'm going in with this mac mascara this is called extended play and uh, this has a really thin wand and uh, makes it very easy for you to put apply mascara onto the bottom lash line all the products that I'm using in the video are going to be listed in the description box below. Now highlighting the arch of my brows with the same highlighter that is Champagne Pop. As I want my eyes to look really bigger and brighter, I'm going to go in with a nude eyeliner. But before that I'm going to just clean off my lower waterline uh, with the Johnson's Bud. If any of the uh, kajal that we had applied to the top lash line has transferred. So once I'm done with the nude eyeliner, you can see how big it makes your eyes look. Now I'm taking the Sigma contour brush and dipping it into my bronzer, which is Hula by Benefit and chiseling out my cheekbones. What I've noticed is uh, when while applying the bronzer if you tilt your face a little bit forward you are able to see the hollows of your cheeks much better and uh, apply the bronzer to the right place so i'm going to not only chisel my cheekbones i'm going to apply it over my jawline so that it makes it look a little more sharper and doing the same on the other side bronzing up the hollows of my cheek the jawline Taking the bronzer up onto my hairline, I am chiseling my cheekbones up just a little bit more as I want my face to look much more structured. Just blending the bronzer out so that there are no harsh lines visible. Now going in with the blush, the shade that I have chosen is called Gingerly by MAC. It is a very beautiful neutral blusher. The only downside to this blusher is if you tend to apply it too much, it tends to look a little orange on the skin. So just picking up very little amount at a time and tapping off the excess, I'm going to blend the blusher out and I'm going to merge it into the bronzer that we had applied and taking it till the temples. So dabbing and then blending it and taking it up to the temples as you can see that this uh, blusher adds the right amount of warmth to the face and brings it back to life 
Now taking the MAC Fix Plus spray, I am going to spritz it all over my face. What the spray does is uh, not only increase the longevity of your makeup uh, but takes away any kind of powderiness or cakiness of your makeup to make it look more dewy and fresh. And uh, just before the Fix Plus is completely dry, while it's still a little tacky, I'm going to pop on the uh, highlight with a Morphe fan brush. This is the same highlighter uh, which I used in the inner corners of my eyes and on the arch of my eyebrow. I am generously going to apply this highlighter on my cheekbones and on top of my arch of the eyebrow. Using the highlighter after applying Fix Plus ensures that the highlight pops out even more. Now highlighting the center of my face which is the bridge of my nose, the cupid's bow as well as the chin. Once I'm done with the highlight, I'm going to move on to the lips. And as I said, I'm going to give you three options for the lips. The first option is this Lacme Lip Mouche, uh, 9 to 5 Lip Mouche in the color Blush Velvet. It is a beautiful warm toned neutral pink kind of a color. It's a very very close shade to a much raved about lipstick MAC Meher. This comes with a doe foot applicator uh, which makes it super easy to apply the lip product and it's a very very lightweight uh, kind of a gloss which dries to a matte finish. What Lakme claims is that uh, we can also use it on the cheeks but uh, I haven't still tried it. And as you can see, this lip color looks really beautiful with the eye look. This is a perfect lip option for people who are not very comfortable wearing any darker shade of lip colors and just pulls the whole look together, makes it look really natural and glowing from within. Now going on to the lip option 2, this one is by Faces, it is the Ultimate Pro Matte Lip Crayon. Uh, in the shade 12 midnight rose and as you can see this is a beautiful beautiful red color this particular lipstick has a matte texture and the stain power is just amazing lip option 3 is this uh, lipstick by color bar it is the ultimate 8 hour stay lipstick uh, in the shade plum berry which is like a very uh, muted berry kind of a color which would just look gorgeous on any any skin tone uh, once I applied that lipstick I thought it just washed out my face a little bit so I just went ahead and just popped on some more of that blusher and uh, yeah that's what it is with a lot of dark lipsticks that when you apply them your face tends to look a little washed out so just apply a little more blusher to bring that life back to your face now uh, just looking for my Johnson's uh, bud to give you one quick tip for all those people who like to wear a nose pin like I do. Uh, I just uh, dip it into a micellar water or any makeup remover and I just dab it over the nose pin so that any foundation which is stuck to it is taken off. And with that our 4 cut crease eye makeup look is complete. It is a very simple look. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching my tutorial. Uh, do leave in the comment section below as to which lip option did you like the best. I like the first option. And uh, if you did like the video, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. It is free for you but would mean the world to me. So until next time, bye bye.